you know that the um, American grouse on IPR is basically on two key issues. Of course, there's also the issue of uh, enforcement. They feel that IPRs are not being adequately enforced. But apart from that, on the legal side, they have um, expressed uh, some amount of alarm about the grant of a compulsory license to an anti-cancer drug of the buyer company. And they worry really is that there might be more compulsory licenses or CLs. On this front, we have assured them that this was just one case and it was the result of a judicial process. It was not the government granting a compulsory license. There are several countries in the world which have issued several compulsory licenses. But somehow India seems to be uh, you know, the favorite uh, whipping boy on the IPR front. There are several reasons for this and I suppose you would know better than me. But the point remains that compulsory license, the grant of it, is allowed by the WTO under the TRIPS. It's fully uh, compliant. The decision that was taken by India subscribed to every provision under the TRIPS law. So we have assured them on this front, and we've also explained to them that we have a due process and that seals are not used as a tool for uh, health care in India or delivery of uh, affordable health services in India. The other issue is the uh, provision on 3D, as it's called, Section 3D of our IP law, which uh, prohibits evergreening, or what we call as frivolous patenting. And there was, again, another particular case, uh, a Novartis drug, which was denied a patent on this ground. So the U.S. companies have also been raising this. And again on this, we have explained to them the provisions of our law and why we have what we have. Our laws, both administratively, judicially, and uh, legally are fully compliant with international obligations and they take into account India's stage of development. We are not where America is today. So our IPR regime has to really reflect our realities of today and where we want to go tomorrow. So in brief, we continue to reassure them that India wants innovation. India sees IPRs as supportive of innovation. We're even going to come out with an IPR strategy so we've been saying all this to the American side, and we have a very uh, constructive dialogue now uh, which will uh, um, commence, and we've been talking to them even in the past. So it's not really a new issue that the Prime Minister would be raising or the American side would be raising.